little bit better, maybe? Turn yourself up and the gunshots down. I don't... Hello, hello, everyone. We are here. We are getting ready to go. I'm just not getting sound for some reason. I... I've never actually played this game before that I can remember. So, like, there's a possibility it just doesn't have sound during the this part here. But that seems unlikely, to say the least. So I'm just trying to figure out why the sound is not coming through. Um, I have everything enabled on my side, right? That's set. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. The game is working, but there's no sound. <laughs> okay. What's weird is when I switch sources, the sound's not changing. Oh, there we go. It's actually a little bit loud on my side. All right, guys. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, today, we're playing a little bit of... What are we playing? A little bit of Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imposters, I think is the full name of it. So, yeah. Hopefully, it's fun. I mean... It looks pretty good from the from the cover, so I have some hope that, you know, it's actually going to be a decent game for once. <laughs> um, I guess we'll put that on medium. Autosave can be turned on. Yes, let's enable the autosave, dude. Rise of the Imperfects. Imposters and imp Imperfects. I mean, it's the same thing at the end of the day, right? <laughs> it's close enough anyways. But yes, no. Rise of the Imperfects. I literally have the case sitting right next to me. I don't know why I didn't just look at that. Um, but anyways. So let's get into it, man. I Like I said, I'm actually a little bit excited for this one. I'm not going to lie. No, don't go back to the settings. I want to play the game, damn it. Go back. Backwards. Go, go back. Oh. The ad manager broke again. That's annoying. Oh, well. Whatever. There may be an ad in the beginning if you're not subscribed. I'm very sorry. Every once in a while, Twitch's ad manager just breaks for some reason and is like, I'm running an extra ad today and there's nothing you can do about it. And I just have to sit here and be like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> so, fuck. Oh, well, at least it's in the beginning. So nobody should really miss anything. Rude. I know it is rude, dude, but oh well. What you gonna do about it? Um, on the plus side, it hopefully has taken effect by now. There should no longer be pre-roll ads on the channel. Fingers crossed. It's a brand new uh, brand new feature on Twitch, so I don't know if it's working 100% yet, but starting tonight, there shouldn't be any pre-roll ads if, if you join the channel and you're not subscribed for the first time, which... You know, is awesome. That's kind of like the dream right there, man. <laughs> Been wanting to get rid of pre-roll ads for literally ever, so this is really nice. It does mean that we have to run slightly more ads, but we made that change a while back just to make sure everything would be smooth with it, and uh, thankfully it, it seems to have been working out so well. Wow, such graphics? Yeah, it actually, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little plain, maybe? so far but i mean this is just the first level it should get better okay so circles grab triangles block squares attack x is jump r1 is is that a taunt i think it might maybe recharges the uh because like if we press and hold that button you see the the white bar is turning red so maybe that's like some sort of ability meter or something like that and by pressing and holding that button. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so pressing and holding that button recharges it more quickly. But it also allows us to do power attacks of some sort. So that that's probably, I'm assuming, like a, a perfect block of some sort. Circle doesn't seem to do anything. X doesn't do anything special. So we have like power moves and, and some sort of fancy blocking thing. 
Okay, now the game's going to explain to us everything we just figured out. So, is it cell shaded? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say cell shaded, but it, it, I, it feels like maybe. Did I just get hit by the damn car that I hit up in the air? <laughs> okay, so cars blow up apparently and do bad things to me. Um, anyways, I do think they were going for like a comic booky look to it, but I don't know if I'd say it's full on cell shaded. Maybe like, maybe they were trying to do cell shaded and then just didn't, couldn't like really accomplish it with what they had at the time or something. So these guys are simply known as the invaders. I'm assuming since we're the thing, we can uh, throw cars and shit. <laughs> Get wrecked, bro. Do they have, like, health pickups or anything when they die? Doesn't appear to have. It's kind of lame. I was honestly, whenever I first got into it here, I was kind of hoping this was just, like, God of War with Marvel characters. <laughs> That's kind of kind of what I was hoping for, man. Um... No, no story, no intro or anything either. I'm a little honestly confused about that. I thought it would give us a little pre pre roll cutscene or something before we actually got into the game, but nothing just, just throws you into the action, man. Get to it. My comic book knowledge is very limited, but I do want to say that the Imperfects were a line of comics. I, I believe. Again, I could be wrong on that fact, but. I think it's based off of a comic book series. Tutorial boss? I'm thinking tutorial boss. It's clobbering time. Ah, he said it. He said the thing. It's clobbering time. Wow, why did the... Okay. That's an interesting way to do the camera. Oh, it's doing, like, comic book fancy shots and stuff, too, man. Um, but the camera's actually, like, it's a third-person camera, but from the boss's perspective, always facing at us, the, the player, the thing, in this case. That's interesting. Oh, hi. You gonna throw it back? Can we play catch? Oh, no. <laughs> it seems like maybe I can't do the catching. <laughs> We can we can output some damage though with those uh special attacks. Well that was much quicker than expected. That took away like a third of his health, dude. Me. Hey. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Or I'll crush you like a bug. What do you want? Nothing. You are not what we want. We will come for you. Me. This is a News 12 special report. New York City under attack from unidentified forces. We join Claire Strauss live on the scene. Jim, it's crazy out here. I have never seen anything like this. The streets are filled with debris. There are bodies. We're just trying to take cover. Oh, oh, did you see that? No. See what? Punisher's dead. So wait, is this like game all about the Avengers getting murdered or something? And so the, the secondary heroes have to rise up and save the day? I mean, on the cover, I do see some big names. You know, there's Spider-Man, Wolverine... Iron Man. Got it covered, Storm. Over and out. I I think that's early two thousands Wolverine. <laughs> I really wish there were subtitles. <laughs> Honestly, I would love me some subtitles right now.
That would be fantastic. I'm a visual guy. I like reading things. Okay, so we get to pick our character for the stages. That's nice. The Thing. It's on now. While rushing back towards New York City, the Thing must clear the bridge of all alien invaders. Oh, wait. So these are actually... We're not picking our characters for the level. These are actually, like, two different stories. Are they parallel, like, taking place at the same time? Or can we end up playing both? Just at different... Oh, it's chapters. That makes sense. Yeah, that is what we just did, huh? Street fight it is, then. Sorry, but ever since um, the the X Men movies, anything that's not Hugh Jackman portraying Al portraying Wolverine just doesn't look right, you know. Oh, we can also dodge roll while blocking. That's cool. Do you have? I'm assuming you have like special attacks too, right? Yeah. Yes, he does. He just uses his claws. Okay, the, the bar is now, like, shiny. So that has to do something different. So they're, like... I love this generic-ass running animation, too. That's great. So can we go, like, Hulk mode or something? Like... <laughs> I mean, not literally Hulk. He's probably dead right now. But, uh... <laughs> like... Okay, there we go. I guess it wasn't full before. Rage. We're in rage mode, of course. What else would it be? Are there secrets or anything to find? Or... Ow. <laughs> okay, we're not going that way. I didn't see this dude. So what's this rage mode do? Are we, are we outputting more damage? Honestly, it felt about the same. Is this how every level is going to play out? Just a really small arena for us to fight in? We're going to have to nerf your, your gambling. <laughs> every time you, you win 10,000, I'm going to have to take like 15,000 from you. <laughs> Can Wolverine pick stuff up? He can. Okay. So, I mean, he plays almost exactly the same as the thing, which is a bit of an issue. I do like a little bit of variety in these kinds of games, you know? It's nice to have things be just a little bit different, not a... Because otherwise, what's the point of having multiple different char characters? If everyone you play as is just going to be the same anyways. Oh, you can wall run? Okay, so wait. If just normal people can wall run, then what the hell can Spider-Man do? Like, what makes what makes Spider-Man special compared to the rest of them? Wolverine also has a super block, it looks like. Yeah, he really does play exactly the same as the thing. I'm assuming that Wolverine here can't pick up cars, but I also didn't try, so I could be wrong on that. I'm really hoping that... Yeah, victory. Wow. Wow. Okay. Maybe I was a little too excited for this game. <laughs> you have been sharing the wealth. I'll give you that, Nate. You've been very generous with your points lately. I was really hoping, like, just from looking at the cover and whatnot, that it would be, like, not open world, but, like, an exploration-based game, you know? Like, open world would have been awesome, but at the same time, 
Oh, these are probably our four characters? Battle with 18 superheroes from six families? I don't understand this uh, chapter system, man. Because <laughs> it's the same thing one as before, but Wolverines has changed? So, if we go back to the thing one, does it actually... Is it the same one we did just a moment ago, or...? I'm very confused. See, Nate just fucking cheats, dude. That's the thing. <laughs> no, it is different now. Okay. Um... So, so yeah, it's like the, you're just, you can pick one of four characters maybe, or maybe when you unlock more than four characters, the, the thing moves so you can pick some of the other ones. Sorry, I'm also eating cheesy poops right now. Cheetos cheesy poops. I got home from work and I was like, man, I don't know what I want to eat. And I just gave up on making any food. So <laughs> instead, I'm just eating junk food like an adult. Because that's what you do when you're lazy and don't feel like cooking anything. The Cheetos are mine. What are you talking about? I told you I wanted Cheetos and then you could get whatever you wanted for yourself. Honestly, same. I need to go shopping as well, but new and I's normal shopping time isn't for like another week. We have food, to be clear. I just, uh, I don't know, didn't want to eat any of the stuff we had. Well, it's less that I don't want to eat any of the stuff that we have, and more I just don't want to cook. <laughs> and, and I can't keep buying pizza. That's going to be, uh, or that's going to break the hell out of my bank account. Can't be doing that. As much as I would love to just buy a pizza every day and freaking eat that, I can't do it forever, man. My bank account won't let me. I got too many PS2 games to buy. <laughs> need shrimp is all? I need to get allergy tested so that I can eat shrimp. I miss me some shrimp, man. Shrimp, crab, lobster. All of it. I miss all of it. Love that stuff. Oh, you're going to make your own Alfredo sauce. That's dope, man. I've made my own a handful of times. I I think, honestly, I prefer uh, my homemade Alfredo sauce. But a Noodle basically only eats homemade Alfredo sauce, not the stuff from the can. But I'm just, I don't know. So much takes more work <laughs> when I can just dump it out of a can. Like, spaghetti sauce is so easy to make that I make spaghetti sauce from scratch all the time. But Alfredo, you actually have to put a little bit of work into. <laughs> Most of the time, I just don't want to put work into it. I just want to eat the food, man. Mood? Hell yeah, mood. Oh, and sushi? I'm not a huge sushi person. Like, I'll eat it, but it's not my my favorite thing in the world. These levels are way too small, man. They need to be larger. I'm, and I guess I was thinking something like Kingdom Hearts-esque. Or God of War-esque, but with more discrete levels. Right, and then just using to have a bad Marvel day. characters. It's clobbering time. That's kind of what I was expecting slash hoping. I'm hoping that at the very least, the uh, the versus mode is more interesting. That gonna take that on the shield? Yeah. Rarely have it because you're waiting for someone to get tested. There is such thing as um 
like tuna based sushi and salmon based sushi and stuff like that like you don't have to get crab rolls <laughs> you could still get sushi i probably wouldn't eat it just because of the cross-contamination concerns but you could order it at least and eat it at the house there is sushi that doesn't contain shellfish believe it or not Of course, I guess I don't really know if like any of the places around us cook that kind of uh, sushi or not cook, but you know what I mean, prepare, make that kind of sushi. I'm sure someone must, but I don't know. I do like that all of the the fighting is like over the top. I do appreciate that, like the way we just get knocked to high hell. Yeah, I'm gonna die, dude. The way they just like get knocked to hell and go flying and shit like that like i appreciate that it's comic book-esque i suppose you know what else this game really needs a lock on button to lock on to the enemies that would be huge like it seems like once you get close to an enemy your attacks somewhat lock on automatically to them. Um, but it'd be nice, like, you know, Zelda style or something, from a distance, you could lock on to them just to know kind of where they're at. Are there no health pickups or anything either? There's really, like, nothing to find, is it? You just run through the levels fighting, fighting people along the way? Bro, they had such an opportunity here to make, like, a really interesting game. And this is the game they decide to make instead. Like, that's... That's crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. <laughs> GG. We'll try that one again. Yes. The combat feels good, at least, bro. Like, playing it's not too bad, it's just... Bad there's it's obvious missed time. opportunities for, for... To make... That could have made it a lot more engaging, a lot more fun. By having it not just be a brawler with tiny levels. You know? Like, I'm not the biggest fan of brawlers in general outside of, like, God of War. Which is kind of a brawler. It's more like a spectacle fighter. But anyways, semantics... Um, but like in brawlers, like 2D side scrolling brawlers, for instance, your levels usually go on for a decent amount of time and you can pick up weapons and maybe random health pickups or extra lives and, and, and stuff, you know, like there's at least some things to collect, even if it's not, I don't know, coins. And, and even if it doesn't have a progression system, like RPG elements or anything like that, but like, I don't know. They just definitely could have added things into this to make it a lot more interesting. But the combat does feel good. My only, my only real worry is that after a while it's going to get very boring. Because everything seems to play exactly the same. Or every character seems to play exactly the same. And all of the fights end up uh, playing out almost exactly the same, which is also going to be an issue obviously like <laughs> i'm not here to play the same game a million or the same the same mission a million times over i'm going to guess i don't know if this is true of course but i'm going to guess this is this is a case of um developers had some neat ideas and publisher was like yo this game's got to be released tomorrow so <laughs> don't care what your cool ideas were get the fucking game out that's that's what i'm gonna guess happened there uh. <laughs> can i pick up the light pole i can can i beat people with it there we go dude this is the gameplay that i wanted <laughs> give me weapons and shit Let's go, dude. See, I don't need much to be entertained. Just something. Just something. 
now if they just get some power-ups in here we'll be doing we'll be doing excellent why did i not pick that that one was on the ground that should not have even done damage to me dude <laughs> I was pressing circle. This game hates me. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I could be playing South Park right now. No, not allowed to play South Park yet. I'm finishing my actual backlog of games. Not my PS2 backlog, because that would take literally forever. But like, <laughs> the games that I've started previously and haven't finished. I'm playing through Melody of Memories. I'm like three quarters of the way through what I believe the game to to have that's the end of that level apparently and then what other games have i not completed yet maybe mario rabbids because yeah mario rabbids was actually a lot of fun too it's like i don't know if you guys have played xcom at all um but it's a tactical turn-based game but like more light-hearted and kind of dumbed down and i don't mean dumbed down in a mean way just like it was simplified I assume to make it a little bit more kid slash young teen friendly. Um, but they have some neat mechanics like how you can jump off of people uh, to to boost your 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 uh, speed, like how far you can run per per turn. Um, and of course that also deals damage, and then you can chain things together and whatnot. Like they introduce some some fun, easy to understand mechanics while taking some of the the more complex bits out without making the entire game a complete cakewalk. So if you're interested in tactics games at all and you like Mario, highly suggest Mario Rabbids, the, the first one. Which South Park game? I've really been wanting to play Fractured Butthole because I've, I've played and completed, well finished at least, I didn't 100% complete it, but I, I did like 90 some percent of the, the stuff to do in the game and collected the, the first one, the Stick of Truth. Wonderful game. A little bit shorter than I was hoping for, but other than that, wonderful game, dude. Terrible humor, um, of course, but that's <laughs> that's South Park. So, what do you expect? About to oh, wait, now we have a timer? There's time-based missions now? Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Stop getting hit! <laughs> Attack back the thing! You're a dude made of stone. Why are you letting these, these little weak alien dudes get to you so much? Just beat the shit out of them, man. Come on. <laughs> what? They block? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Rage the hell out, man. Let's go. Decapitator, my ass. Decapitators ain't gonna do shit when the thing gets to you. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what you expected from South Park humor. Yeah, no. The game is in no way... Um, like, there's there's some terrible humor, but it's all par for the course as far as, you know, South Park shit goes. So, <laughs> like, nothing surprised me in the context of South Park, but there were some things in the game that surprised me at the same time, you know? Like, I didn't quite expect the the abortion clinic scene, just as an example. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it. But I'll say it again, you should play it if you like South Park. Now, obviously, if, if South Park's not your jam, then no, don't, <laughs> don't, even, don't even think about it. But, dude. GG. Not saying you didn't cringe a few times. Oh, yes. There are definitely some cringe-worthy moments in the game. <laughs> Most definitely, sir. Yeah, uh... South Park Fractured But Whole looks very fun, and it added some strategy elements to the game, as far as, like, taking cover and having a board instead of that you can move around in instead of just straight-up turn-based uh, JRPG-style combat. Um, so I... I, I also really enjoy that my favorite combat systems in games honestly are jrpgs and tactics games <laughs> like i really enjoy both those kinds of games and like final fantasy tactics um like that sort of tactics is a lot of fun don't get me wrong 
it's up there, but I really enjoy, like, uh, fuck, I always forget the name of the game. Um, made by the same company that's making the new Baldur's Gate 3. It's the same combat system, just not based on D&D &D in these games. I've brought it up to Nate a few times, and every time that I have, I forget the damn name of the games. God, the second one even had, like, a, a scenario editor, so you could, like, make your own quote-unquote D&D little campaigns in the game and things like that. Divine Divinity, yes. Divine Divinity's like the old one. Divinity Original Sin um, Remaster are the ones I'm talking about specifically. Divine Divinity's also a lot of fun, but, yeah. Divinity Original Sin. Ton of fun, and, like, the combat system in there is A+, plus as well. Not a perfect game. In and in and of itself, but uh, the combat system that they that they got going on, especially with like the environmental effects and things that, um, and like the interaction between your attacks and the environment and shit like that, like they just did a really good job with it. Why am I so low on health? I just realized I have like no health. Did I get my shit rocked already? What happened? Did I start with like no health? I'm very confused on why I'm basically dead right now. You know something else I'm realizing with this game? It could be because I'm playing through OBS. It may not be the, the fault of the game itself. Because um, I have noticed that some games in OBS, when played through OBS's viewers, um, do, do appear to be a little more... Uh, do seem to be a little more inconsistent than otherwise. But anyways, the frame rate. The frame rate feels a little off, man. Like, just, just inconsistent. Which, I mean, wasn't that uncommon for PS2 games, but still. Not my favorite thing in the world. You have to connect some dots to remember. Yeah. I've brought it up a few times, and every single time I forget, man. It's ridiculous. I got my giant sword. We're going to play as the Wolverine next. Just because I'm curious if uh, the Wolverine can pick up cars and things. <laughs> like, is it literally a carbon copy of the thing, just with a different skin? Or um, do they? is there anything they did to actually differentiate the different characters? I'm curious. Now, and I know this isn't for everyone, but another thing that I personally think could have really benefited this game, having some more story in it, man. Like, how are we going through this many chapters, missions, whatever they want to call it, and not getting any story elements at all? Oh, that's cool. Wait, what? Hold on, sorry. I just saw a mod pop up. It's a original Game Boy, but modded to play da Game Boy Color games. And obviously I can't actually hear the, the, the audio right now, but... It looks like it may be a, a build your own from scratch, like with the board and everything. Which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time is get like, uh, there's two different projects that I've forgotten the name of, but where they, um, like you buy a board and you add all the components yourself to make like a brand new Nintendo from scratch. Um, well, Nintendo clone essentially. And I've been wanting to do that for so freaking long. If somebody did that for the Game Boy, that would be fantastic, obviously. Or, honestly. What did I miss? I was getting snacks. We were talking about video games that you guys should play. <laughs> uh, specifically, South... Excuse me. I'm trying to run this way. Uh, South Park, Fractured Butthole, Slash, uh, Stick of Truth. And, oh. If, um... Shit, what was the other one? Oh, and if tactics games, like uh, XCOM-style games are your jam, Mario Rabbids. So that's another really, really fun game, honestly. And it's like, it's tactics with tactics light. 
Like they they dumb down some of the the harder mechanics and in, in most tactic games to make it easier for for new players slash younger players, um, while adding some unique Mario flair to the game. Holy hell! Okay, so thrown objects just do a ton of damage. That's what happened in the last fight, probably. Like we got hit with a table and it took three quarters of our health. Thankfully, we have like some regen system thing going on where like we take the damage, but then um, but then if we don't take any damage for a while, it, it refills to a certain degree. I'm trying to remember another game that's done something similar. See, this fast moving enemy right here is exactly why I was saying we need a lock on system, man. So that I can keep a freaking eye on just where this dude is. Oh, no, not the table. The table's hurt. <laughs> no, oh, God, we're going to die. We're going to die because of tables. <laughs> we're dead. We're dead. Son of a bitch, man. I don't like these tables. We're going to have to run around and then just break all the tables before the actual game starts. Like... <laughs> Holy hell, man. Wolverine's number one enemy. Tables. Damn. So close. So close. This is... This is different from last time. The lasers are on... Oh, maybe we could come in from, like, two different sides, and we, we're on the right side now. Like, everything's inverted, and it has me confused. But I guess, yeah, we can probably just come from both directions if we wanted to. So, like, whichever whichever direction we come from, obviously everything's going to be inverted. I'm, I'm legit trying to break these tables, if possible. Like, one of them just got kicked at me or something, and... <laughs> Again, took like half my freaking health away, dude. Rage out, let's go. Oh, you know what? I think what the rage system does is it lets us do an unlimited number of power attacks while we're in rage mode. Yeah, okay, so that's what the rage is. I, I wonder if it also gives you, like, a damage buff or anything like that while you're in rage mode. God damn it, dude. I'm missing, like, the combat from the Arkham games right now. How smoothly you can move between multiple enemies and things. That would also go perfect in this game, man. There's so many ways they could have made this game better than, than what it seems to be. I mean, we're still only in the first, like, what, half hour of the game? So, like, it could get better. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, uh, completely dismiss the game just yet, I suppose. You want a duel? I'll duel you, I guess. Even though somehow you cheat and win every duel. And an ungodly number of the... The... Gambles. Or slots. Or no, not the slots. You, you lose the slots. Everyone loses the slots. The gambling. I really hope this is like the last of the enemies. Because otherwise we're going to freaking die again, man. Hit. Just freaking hit him. Maybe we can throw something at him. Pick up the... Oh, we got a weapon! I mean, it's not going to matter when I'm dead, but... I really just want to lock on to him. Please. Please, dude. Just let me lock on. Oh, my God. I am... <laughs> I, he was right there! <laughs> just hit him, Wolverine. Freaking hit him. Oh, my God. That's not the end. There's more. There's two more of the flying fucks. We died again. I take back everything I said. This game is trash. Uh, Do I not have that many points? 
I might not have that many points. No, I have. 6,000. I didn't misspell except, right? Maybe I ran out of time. Yo, how do you spell your name? T A L I S T E R 96 6942. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Fine. See, told you every time. Man cheats. The man cheats. We try the mission again. Uh, yes. They've invaded the the Avengers Mansion. I didn't know the Avengers had a mansion. Oh, I definitely appreciate the number. Can we like Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to run along the wall, Mr. Wolverine, sir. Not run up it. Thank you kindly. Okay, grab the sword. Maybe the sword will help us in some way. Oh, look at that damage. One hit kill? Or is the game just making itself easier for us because we died twice? <laughs> if you don't know, that is something video games do. Not, not all of them, obviously, but... It's a common enough mechanic in games. If you die, like, multiple times in the same spot, they'll just make the game easier for you. To, to try to stop people from getting, like, overly frustrated with a game or whatever. And so that they can just, you know, progress through it. But as we saw with games like Devil May Cry, for instance, <laughs> it's definitely not something every game does. <laughs> Can I, can I, oh, okay, cool. I wasn't trying to punch you or anything. Why would you get overly frustrated? That's that's a good question. Especially with such a, a masterpiece of a game like this. Where I literally can't even jump high enough to hit the dude, apparently. I can't, I just want to lock on. <laughs> so I know where the hell he's at, please. Oh my god. These are the worst enemy in the game. Oh, you said who, not why? Well, I don't know. Who would get frustrated? Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him, pick him up. Can you not pick somebody up off the ground? Trash. One out of ten game. can't pick, pick people up and murder them. I'm very sad. And uh, to answer your other question, who? You. <laughs> I have seen you do such things. Oh, destructible walls? That's fun. I guess that was another way to get into the room. Instead of, you know, going through the door, we can just tear the entire building down. I didn't lock the door. Don't worry, you got it. Um, love, you came home after me, in case you forgot. Oh. You freaking flying fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I finally had a chance to hit him. He doesn't telegraph his shots at all either, as far as I can tell. He just shoots. Oh god, the dodge rolling sucks. Oh, is he stuck? No. He can just he can just phase through that beam right there. Stay in the corner. <laughs> just why why am I not hitting him? The dude's not even moving. Okay, just two more. Two more of these dudes. And then hopefully that's freaking it. <laughs> what was that? Why did we jump so high all of a sudden? Okay, one down. That was easy enough, I guess. You're freezing? How are you freezing? I think it feels nice in the house right now. Punch him. Just punch his face. Victory? Victory. We literally died on, like, the last enemy last time. That's annoying as hell. 
Burr, burr, burr. I mean, you can turn off the air conditioner or turn up the air conditioner if you're really that cold, but... <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> uh, that's solid 420 uh, points. I don't know, like, if I'm getting seasonal allergies or something, which is something I've never got before, or if it's because I've been putting lotion on my face recently, but my eyes have been burning on and off the past couple of days, and that's not something I really had an issue with before. Femme Fatale. At the secret laboratory beneath Avengers Mansion, Wolverine confronts an intruder who's stealing data from the Avengers computer. Oh no. Oh me, oh my. Whatever will we do? Hey, I started with two points. Technically, we all started with zero points. <laughs> I just didn't tell you guys that you were getting points in the background for a long time. <laughs> I had it enabled. I just never told anyone about it <laughs> until the regulars had quite a bit, uh, quite a number of points saved hey, up. What are you doing here? Now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> oh, good. She won't be annoyed. You know something else I just realized that's really annoying? Wolverine has the healing factor, but they haven't made use of that at all. Uh, okay, so how do I fight this person? Oh, I just realized they also have a, a rage meter. So do I just do I just block and and wait for a moment to to strike? Okay, that was not a good moment to strike. Nope, can't block that apparently. What if we just mash square over and over again? <laughs> oh god, she's raging out. I think we're dead. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and guess that we're probably screwed at this point in time. <laughs> uh, can we, can we like, attack her, maybe? Is there stuff to throw? Throwing things seems to do damage. <laughs> Ow, no. Oh, shit, I blew us both up. I mean, it did some damage, technically. Good, she's on fire. <laughs> that didn't seem to matter at all. <laughs> oh. Ah, take that. My thing's bigger than your thing. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Reverse, reverse. Of course you would reverse, reverse right now. I don't even know where she's at. The camera's not showing me her at all. Did the game glitch? Oh, she's up there. There she is. Uh, what's the grab button? Nope, that's attack. That's also attack. God damn it, where'd she go? Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Hold R1 and jump onto a wall to climb. You didn't do it in the MGS area during helicopter? Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> That fight was so long. That would have been terrible. Dude, pick it up, Wolverine. No, throw it at the lady. <laughs> Just, like, lock on and throw it there or something, man. Okay, hold R1. How am I supposed to hold R1 right now? Uh, that wasn't climbing. Hold R1 and jump to climb up wall. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's L1 that I'm holding. Uh, I caught it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Okay. Maybe it's this button. How am I supposed to hold this? No. R1 and jump. There we go. Uh, and then like, oh, and then uh, square. <laughs> Damn it. 
<laughs> I might have hit her. Maybe? I'm not even positive we hit her, to be honest. I think I think we lost this fight, especially now. Because of someone's fuckery. Not that we stood much of a chance before. Come on. Just just die, lady. No, don't kill me. I want you to die. We have healing factor. Heal, damn it. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, we're actually somewhat close. What? That was circle. I was holding circle. Maybe you have to like press circle closer to whenever you get hit by it or something? Oh, trash. How much longer do we have in reverse reverse? Still another three minutes, two and a half minutes. Heist? Yes, please. You know I gotta join that heist, dude. Uh, yes, we try. Oh, it was L1. Hey, what are you doing? Here? Oh, no, that was to run. Okay, yeah, it is R1 to climb. Hey, I lived. Oh, shit. I'm all the way over there. You missed it, Rude. Just barely, but you missed it. There we go. Kicking her ass one one punch at a time. Oh no, she got a weapon! <laughs> I don't like these this weapon thing, man. If I can't have a weapon, you can't have a weapon, damn it. <laughs> don't think I won't blow us both up, lady. I'm crazy like that. Okay, um... Hold L. Oh, nope. She's back. I'm just going to attack this wall for a bit and hope for the best. Damn it, dude. Come on. No! No! We were actually doing decent for a moment. Stop! <laughs> fine. Never mind. It's not fine. We just got freaking murdered, man. Now you see me. Yeah, we get the point, lady. We get the point. Yes, retry the mission again. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, attack. What is this? She also has the super block? Five minutes is up. Thank God. <laughs> okay. What just blew up, man? Oh my God. We haven't even hit her yet. How were we doing better with the controller upside down? Granted, it was for a very short period of time, but still, at least we were doing some damage. I don't like how you have to like press X to get up. But it doesn't work right away, either. No, you don't. Okay. Got her to phase two. Okay, we got blown up. That's fine. I pressed circle. Circle is grab. Okay, well, that time it blew up on me. Didn't actually hit me. Same with that time. Uh, excuse me, game. Why is that not working? Uh, I was... Okay, R1. That's right, not L1. Damn it. Nope. <laughs> I don't like this lady. The fact that she has my powers <laughs> or the same abilities as me, that's just not fair, man. 
Can't give me an even playing field, no. Gotta let me live the, the superhero fantasy, you know? Oh, what, I can only stab her once when she's on the ground? What kind of bullshit is that? Let's go, rage mode. Come on, get her quick. Get her quick, no! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Do I have anything to throw at her? Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> did that hit her? I think that did hit her, actually. Of course, my rage mode ran out as soon as she got down here, too. No weapons! What are you doing, lady? I think her AI glitched out a little bit there for a moment or something. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're so close. Please. Please, game. Ah, uh, what? Stop teleporting, damn you. Oh, God. I like that the decals on the floor are disappearing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's some that's some quality uh, programming right there, man. Damn it. Come on. So freaking close. No! Stab her! Stab her! Oh, we got her with a kick to the chest. <laughs> Just kicked her in the sternum while she was down. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. Look, look. You better give me some answers. I won't ask again. What are you doing here? We're just looking for something. How about being more specific? Oh, something. Wolverine not playing around. <laughs> Freaking witches, dude. Always a pain in the ass. Oh, now we get some story? Okay. I'm here for it. Electra, I'm under attack. Over. Electra. Hang in there, Matt. I'm on my Wait, way. Who? Who's Matt? Is that Daredevil? I know who Elektra is, but Matt. I'm thinking Matt might be Daredevil. So does it say like all the characters we get to play? It just says 18 superheroes from six families. Huh. Unleash the devastating superpowers unique to each character. I wish that was a thing. Save the Earth in a single-player storyline unrivaled by any fighting game. This game has a single-player story mode that's unrivaled. Better than any, any fighting game ever made up until that point. For some reason, I don't quite believe that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it has been an hour. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. I got to turn down the AC in here a little bit. Noodle may be freezing to death. I'm not. I'm warm, so I'm going to get up, get a drink, start the AC, and we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Time for you to bail. Have a good night! You won't be working on Wednesdays anymore, so you'll be able to catch up on Metal Gear now? Hell yeah, dude, which reminds me, actually, um, have a good night, Rue, um, but also, I forgot to post, I think, I'm pretty sure I did, forgot to post the, uh, the new poll, because... Uh, da -da, Metal Gear should be finishing up either this Monday or um, the not this Wednesday because this Wednesday Noodle and I are going out, but the Wednesday after, one or the other. So we have a new poll of 30 different games that you guys can pick from. You can pick up to five, so feel free to pick as many as you want between one and five. Of course, just like last time. Uh, whatever one gets picked or the one we're going to play. So I'm going to go ahead and post that up in Discord right now. Everybody can go ahead and check that out and vote on whatever they like. And yeah, we'll be back in just a few minutes, guys. I'll post it in chat later on too, I guess. But, you know. <laughs> Shots in the game. But, uh... <laughs> 
16 gigs of RAM, 250 gig SSD, one or two terabyte hard drive, and it's only 240. It's from 2014, but tell me that's not a good one regardless. I mean, from what you've read off, that all sounds perfectly fine. Are you, uh, is it like a gaming PC? Does it have a graphics card or anything? Or are you just using it for school and stuff like that? Because, I mean, obviously, if it has, uh, if it's for gaming, then it's gonna mad depend a lot on what kind of GPU performance you got, but... You think you have this game for real? Benton Alien Force? Also, welcome, Dorseman. Glad you could be here, man. Much better? Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know why I would have turned it down, but I must have turned it down at some point. My, uh, my mic in OBS. I probably did it on accident one day, just not paying attention. Sometimes I don't feel like switching my input over to the HDMI, so I just end up using OBS to play video games while I'm on the computer, uh, if I'm playing like a PS1 or 2 game, or PS5 even, or whatever, so <laughs> sometimes I have OBS up even when I'm not streaming, so I probably just accidentally clicked on it while fucking around with something else. You unlocked another playable character? That's awesome, man. Wait, so you're dashing and playing. Does that mean it's a mobile game? You might have said so already. I just don't remember. Business computer, but you did find a video to update the card if you need to. Uh, don't die. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, like, a lot of games don't need super high-end CPUs or anything like that to be able to get 60 FPS. So, like, you could totally use a computer from 2014 and just swap in a higher end graphics card or, or you know, any graphics card and play modern titles at decent frame rates. So, like, that's not a bad way just to save money on a gaming PC even. Buy something from a few years back, throw in a semi-modern or, or mid-tier modern graphics card and go at it, man. You're a console gamer first and foremost anyways. Very true, very true. So it's fun to be able to play stuff on PC from time to time because, you know, we just we get some cool games on PC sometimes. Or if it's a uh, a release that, like, if you buy Sony consoles primarily or whatever, then you can buy Microsoft stuff on PC or vice versa. Oh, that's right, you got it on Switch. I think you mentioned that already. I just completely forgot. Oh, and mods. Yeah, I didn't even think about mods. <laughs> Did Doorsman running Windows 95 with AOL? Yeah, I built it for him. Like, two years ago, it was weird. I don't know why he asked for uh, a Windows 95 PC. But, uh, hey. I was uh, more than happy to oblige, you know? With Ask G's. Holy shit, man. That's a blast of the past there. Um, I'm flying. <laughs> I got stuck in between the two dudes and couldn't freaking move. Game is jank. I, I want to catch you on fire, please. I want to use Big Moth. Moth bro. Uh, I forget the combo already. There it is. Or no, that wasn't a combo. I don't cold kick. Nope, that wasn't it. Was it triangle square? Triangle X. Triangle circle. Yeah, there we go. Bruh, we just sub zeroed this dude. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I wish it wasn't just a giant block of ice. It would have been cooler if it was like a, uh, you know, just froze the dude. But whatever, I guess. Plumber's badge is temporarily double our attack. That's cool. I'll take it. I'll take that health even more because we were getting low, boy. We actually had to fix Jonathan's computer, Dorseman's computer here, uh, probably tomorrow some trouble with the cooler he's been having. I'm also gonna help him get set up so he can stream. Hello, hello everyone, we are back. Uh, yeah, as far as Shrek 2 goes, man, like I said, it's, it's actually not too bad. Um, you know, it's, it, it's definitely not perfect or anything like that, but I looked up it's how long to beat and it's only like four to six hours long or something like that. It's relatively short, we could beat it if we continued from the save we have, we could probably beat it in, like, one stream. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> if we started over, it would take, like, two streams max. Should take, like, two streams max. So, I figured, why not throw it on the list? Um, 
I, I threw a couple other ones on there. I don't remember what they were. I took one or two games off of the list. I also don't remember which ones those were, but like, <laughs> it wasn't anything major though. Uh, I It's still mostly shorter games that I have on the list right now. I, I am still trying to, to keep it mostly to stuff that is, you know, beatable within, oh, okay. Well, that was nice game. Within, within, you know, a handful of streams. Um, after this round, though, I think I may add back on some of the, the longer games. Um, like, you know, your Final Fantasies. Uh, I guess that's the only, that's the only game I can think of off the top of my head. That I, that I haven't put off the, haven't put on the list because I don't want to have, like, an extremely long stream. Um, there's probably one or two other ones that I'm forgetting because my memory is absolute trash. I'd have to go through my list again, but yeah. Um, so, Electra again, plays exactly the same as the other characters, except she can throw knives. She has a ranged attack, which honestly... Oh, and that also answers our question. The regular people can't pick up super heavy stuff like cars, which makes sense. I I'm glad... That, that the thing is the only one that can do that, honestly. He should be the only one that can do that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Shrek Brawler was fun also. Can't remember specifically the one, but I think came out in early days of 360. was available on previous gen 2. Yeah, I think I mentioned that during the Shrek 2 game, actually. I, I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head either. Um, but when I was looking at my list of Shrek games, I think I saw it on there. Um... Because I, I remember, I don't remember if it was a review or what, but I remember watching some sort of a, a video on PS2 stuff, and Shrek, a couple Shrek games were on that list, or at least one Shrek game was. And at first, I thought that's the one I had, because I didn't realize that there are actually, you know, like five Shrek games for the PS2. I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, but I, I remember it was a brawler style of game. That was on the list. Oh, we can we can deflect projectiles back. How fancy. Um, also, did that dude just teleport over here? Ow. Okay, we gotta recharge. I think I think it's not gonna let us through this shield until we do the deflection thing. I think this is a, a tutorial moment. Thankfully, they do have this recharge mechanic, even though it does take a bit too long, maybe. Come on. Shoot shoot me. Oh, no. I guess we could just kill him. That works, too. Uh, and that was the end of the level, apparently. Why even put that last guy in there? Like, what was the point of that, man? That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is a video game that exists, that's for sure. Um, I'm assuming that the versus mode was meant to be the main mode of the game. For that reason, I think we're going to go ahead and quit the story mode and maybe we're, we'll try out a little bit of the, the versus stuff. Maybe that'll be a little bit more interesting, but I can't help but, but think that it's gonna be exactly the same as you know what we're doing right now. Just we get, a, we get to pick the person that we go up against or something. Okay, on the back of the box, I also see Venom. I recognize them. That's the only other person I recognize, though. <laughs> Venom, the thing, Spider-Man, Electra. I don't know who you guys are. Any of you guys, actually. And Iron Man. And that is it, Wolverine. So maybe in the versus mode, it'll show us more of the the characters as well that we can play. Yeah, I mean, Versus is even listed before Story, so that had to be, like, the main focus of the, the game. Uh, lives match or time match? I guess we'll do lives. How many lives do we get? Oh, we have to unlock the characters? Now, I wonder how we unlock them. Like, I wonder if we unlock them through the story or if we unlock them through Versus mode. So we have the Thing, Wolverine, the Wink, that's her name? The Wink? Really? <laughs> okay. 
Electra, Johnny Ohm, of course, and Spider-Man. Strength, durability, speed. Strength, durability. Okay, so he's like completely balanced. Your Spider-Man's just straight up better than Johnny Ohm. Uh, Electra sucks. The Wink sucks except for speed. Wolverine is slow but strength and durable. And the thing is just like top tier besides speed. I think we're going to try out Spider-Man just because I know and like Spider-Man. Hey, at least we have different costumes. Wait, now we have to check and see what the different costumes look on everyone else. Oh, is it just like a dark version and a normal version? Wait, do like some of the, the, the heroes, do they like go evil at some point or something? That would be cool. Maybe that's a thing that happens. Uh, lives, we'll do three. Versus... Uh, I don't know, Electra. I mean, she sucks. She should be pretty easy to hook to fight, right? Also dark because, I don't know, why not? Five, six, seven. There's only seven levels, like stages that we can pick from. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that this was a bit of a cash grab of a game. <laughs> or at the very least, like I said, rushed, you know? Again, I feel like the, the developers probably had good intentions and good ideas, and then it just got rushed out the door to, and turned into what we got here. Oh, oh they're not... Be good. I don't have much time. Oh, are they, like, alien? Is that what it is? Check this out. It's like their voice is a little, a little messed up, too. Okay, the D-pad doesn't actually do anything. Good to know, I guess. Oh, God. <laughs> We're getting fucked by Electra already. Uh, okay, Spider-Man also has a ranged attack. I wonder if his is stronger than Electra's. <laughs> this, is, this is one way to win the game, apparently. Can Spider-Man pick up cars? Because he does pick up cars like... Yes, okay. I was going to say, he does pick up cars sometimes. In the, in the, like, the comics and movies and shit like that. What does Raging Spider-Man look like? He looks like Spider-Man with a very slight... Uh... Excuse me, I was shooting you, lady? With a very slight... Glow around him. Just die already. Ain't nobody want to deal with your shit. I wonder if we didn't have this game, like if this had never come out, if they still would have made... What's that one that's actually like generally regarded as being pretty good? The, the DC... Oh shit, we're like right into the fight. She's throwing knives at me. Um, it's also like a brawler fight or fighting game I guess more than a brawler I can't remember the name of it dodge that one. Oh, she did dodge it <laughs> how, how do you dodge an entire car being thrown at your face I don't think those little newspaper boxes can actually stop cars that are being thrown by a, a super villain hero I don't Can we do, like, just normal attacks? As Spider-Man in his power mode? I mean, he's definitely doing some web-slinging stuff, but I don't know how exactly it works. And I also don't know, why won't she die already? You have been on, like, no health forever now. <laughs> just go down already, lady. Please die? Wait, are we dead? We're dead. Electra killed Spider-Man. Wow. GG. I mean, that's fine. One to one, dude. Let's go. 
Seriously? You're gonna start with that shit again? I have range tax too. <laughs> I can also shoot things at you, lady. Really? One card to the face? I can't even move yet, and she's already throwing stuff at me. I am stunlocked. <laughs> I mean, I guess stunlock's not technically correct, because I can... Um, I... Okay, that's too big for me to pick up. I can uh, do the... That. <laughs> the, the increased dodge thing. The perfect dodge. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Or block. Perfect block. I don't understand how, like, the car took down half her health. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the bits, love. Uh, how the car took down, like, over half her health. And now it won't even kill her. Like, <laughs> GG, lady. Yeah, 10,000 is you the max. We call, that? we call that a web-slinging ass-kicking. A web-slinging ass-kicking? Spider-Man, I don't think you're allowed to cuss, man. I don't, I don't think that's actually allowed. I, I think that's breaking a, a law somewhere. Let's try out another character, I guess. Someone else that we haven't tried yet. I'm not impressed with this game, I gotta say. What I've actually played of it isn't bad. It's just I expected better is the problem. You know, it's kind of like how I feel about Kingdom Hearts 3. I The game's not bad, but I just expected so much more. Same with, like, Final Fantasy 15 too, I suppose. Okay, so we've played everyone except for Johnny, Ohm, and the Wink. So, let's check out Johnny Ohm. And we'll fight Wolverine. His body's made of metal. That should be... <laughs> that should be to our advantage, right? And then we'll try out the Wink, too. Because, why not? Might as well. Now, Johnny's a little bit weaker, so I wonder if he'll be able to pick up cars and stuff. Johnny. Oh my god, really? They did that? Come on. Come and get some. Yep, we got a Zappy attack. I kind of, I kind of figured that. Oh shit, we go through that very quickly, though. The Zappy attack does not last long. Seems like throwing stuff is a bit OP, honestly. <laughs> like, just throwing stuff at people definitely does more damage than we do by hitting them. <laughs> oh, God. Of course, we can also damage ourselves by throwing stuff. <laughs> well, that was kind of neat. We attacked from the ground. I don't think I've been able to do that with any of the other characters. <laughs> sure. Hold on to that exploding barrel for me for a moment there, Wolverine. <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, no. Wait, are we dead? How did we die? We had three quarters health and then we went to zero? <gasps> Game is rigged, man. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. I think a barrel blew up or something, and then for some reason, that one barrel blowing up just wrecked our entire lives. Stop blocking, bitch. Just take it. Take the barrel to the face. <laughs> I think he's figuring out my tactic of just throw things. <laughs> Come on. Zap him again. One more time. He's down. Okay. Tied game. I have a tiny bit less health. That probably would have been much cooler if we could actually see what you were doing there, Johnny Ohm. Oh no, we, uh, we regen some health in between rounds, it looks like, so it's just straight up tie game right now.
rage mode. We getting angry now. He wouldn't like me when I'm angry, or whatever it was that he said. Nobody puts Johnny in a corner. Come on, he's dead, dude. I was gonna say, like, he has no health at all. It seems like characters with range attacks are a bit, uh, are a bit OP too. Just because, you know, virtue of them being range. Can we fly? We can fly. That's cool. Okay, so there is a little bit of difference between the different characters, at least. And presumably, Spider-Man can, like, climb up walls better than the other people. Or, like, better than Wolverine, at least. Because, like, Wolverine can climb up walls, but it's very slow because he's using his claws to, like, dig into the walls and climb up them. Get fucked, Wolverine. Oh! Oh, no, I'm in rage mode. I thought I just suddenly won. Feels like it's about time I get one of the, the bullshit wins that, that they get. The rage mode, honestly, is a little bit underwhelming. I wish it unlocked, like, some sort of special attack or something like that. Something like that would be really cool, you know? Oh, if we hold L1 with him, we can do, like, flying attacks. Since, you know, we fly. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I wonder if other people have, like, special things like that, and I just didn't didn't realize it. Oh, my gosh. Can we just... He's so close to dead. Can we please just kill him? <laughs> Seriously? He has, like, one HP left. Thank you. <laughs> We literally just, like, walked up and blew on him, and he died. <laughs> Alright, we got one more person to try out. We'll try out that, that wink chick. I'm still racking my brain trying to figure out what that DC game was called. The one with the, uh, the heroes that, like... I don't know the story exactly, and I think it starts with an I. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, the heroes, like, go evil or something like that, so you have, like, heroes and, and villains fighting each other and weird matchups that you wouldn't expect or something. I don't know, man. Uh, no, just three lives is fine, and, uh, I don't know. Let's fight. Let's fight the thing. The thing is probably OP as shit, although he is slow, so that might go to our advantage, but fuck it. We're going to try fighting the thing. Uh, evil thing. Why not? And the Avengers Mansion, I guess, would... I hate this level, but... Oh, well. It's the only one we haven't played yet. Imposters? Is it DC Imposters? No, that doesn't sound right. It's killing me that I can't remember, man. Where did he jump in from? <laughs> like... Okay, what's my what's my R1? So that's my like teleport thing. L1 also teleports me. So, like, every time I tap L1, I teleport forward. Every time I do a special attack, I teleport forward. Is my... Do, is that all I know how to do is teleport? Can I... Can I grab him? I can. I didn't know if it would let me grab him, considering, you know, he's the freaking thing and I'm just a witch. <laughs> Back the hell up. <laughs> My God, he's got so much health, though. I'm, I'm giving him everything we got with the with the special attacks, and we've hardly done any damage to him. I mean, I imagine some of it's him blocking, 
He's actually winning right now. <laughs> like, oh God. Oh no. What was that? He just like crushed our head or something? Stop blocking, damn you. Oh, we're dead. Oh God, we're so dead. Uh, help, <laughs> teleport, <laughs> teleport. We don't have any stamina left. Oh yes, no, the weapon, the weapon was our only hope. <laughs> okay. I think her and the thing is a bad matchup. <laughs> Oh god, you actually refill a lot of health between rounds, don't you? I just wanna... What? I thought I was trying to pick up the couch, and I was like, why... How can she not even pick up a couch? But no, it turns out I was trying to pick up a bookcase, and... Lord knows bookcases are too heavy. Weapon time. The one thing that gives me a slight advantage. It's the only way I can output any real damage to you. Ah! <laughs> I should have teleported. Oh god, why did that do so much damage to me? Why am I such a baby? <laughs> I'm so weak. Ah, oh god. Go ahead, throw it. Throw it. get wrecked. <laughs> I'm trying I'm just trying to stay away from him while he's got that stupid rage thing going. There we go. What? He was in the ground and we impaled. Oh, I'm dead again. One life left. I can't help but notice that things don't seem to be respawning here like they do in the uh in the other maps. Oh my god, we're already almost dead. Oh my god, dude. We're dead. If he hits us, we're dead. He sucks. <laughs> I do not like the wink. <laughs> it, I'm sure it has something to do with, you know, fighting the thing. But still. Come on, dude. Just, just die. You're, you have no health. Oh. Get up there, you. <laughs> Why will you not die, dude? Please. Weapon. Oh, nope. He hit us too fast. He has, like, no health left. Oh, God, we did it. It said vanquish, and for some reason I thought that meant we died. I mean, we still only have one life left, though, and now we don't even have full health. So, I still think we're screwed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're so fucked. <laughs> See, this time some of the stuff respawned. Come at me, bro. Damn it. Teleport away. Teleport away. Don't let him throw me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We're dead. GG. You won, thing. You won this time. <laughs> and probably the only time. Because I, uh, I think that's enough of Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. A game that had so much potential... And uh, sadly, is not that great. It's not so bad that I would never play it again. Like, if I was a kid and I had nothing else to play, I'd play through the entire story mode. Um, or like, you know, the next time my brother comes over, if I just want to have a couple quick matches of uh, two-player fuckery or something like that, I'd play it. But otherwise, I think I'm done with that one. Um, it is going to be a short stream tonight because I am dead inside. 
So, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just very tired. So we're going to go ahead and call it there for now, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, though, hopefully with some RimWorld goodness. And then Saturday's next. We're off then. And Sunday will hopefully be the podcast. So, yeah. Hope to see you guys there. Hope everyone had fun. Have a good night now. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Thank you so much for the five bits love on the way out. <laughs> Appreciate you. Silence. Thank you, man, for being here. Appreciate you, too. Have a good night, guys. Not going to be a permanent setup for him, but uh, get him started with some stuff.